After two days of sailing across the Drake Passage, we found ourselves on a black sand beach. This isn't what I expected Antarctica to be like. Wait, let's start the story from the beginning. We are Lena and David Stock of DivergentTravelers.com. We are award-winning photographers and videographers who are passionate about adventure travel and amazing wildlife experiences. This is our journey to Antarctica with Cork Expeditions. Deception Island is one of the most remote tourist destinations in the world. This small island is found hidden among the South Shetland Islands on the edge of Antarctica and on the edge of the world. Whalers Bay would be our first stop on our Cork Expedition cruise to Antarctica. Whalers Bay is unlike anywhere else along the Antarctic Peninsula. It has amazing wildlife, epic landscapes, and a rich history for you to explore. It's a strangely dark place as the beaches are still covered in not only whale bones, but also remains of whaling ships and rundown buildings that have never been removed. In this location, you can find the remains of a short runway, abandoned hangars, and other relics left over from whalers and scientific research bases that followed them. Everywhere you go, there are signs where humans tried to survive in the harsh environment and failed. This site is not truly abandoned. If you look past all of the abandoned buildings and gravestones, you will find hidden spots where the wildlife have taken refuge and made it their homes. After exploring this historic island, it was time to jump onto a zodiac and see what we could find along its remote shorelines. on board it was time to take in the amazing views and get ready for the next adventure where we'd be surrounded by a hundred thousand nesting penguins on the other side of deception island in a location called bailey's head until next time dream dare diverge